Well, in this video, I have got a special treat for you. It's uh, one of our coaches, it's Sam Pond. He's never been on the channel before. Some of you might have met him because he teaches at all the workshops. Matter of fact, he was a student first and he really changed himself a lot. And he became so dedicated to the work, we couldn't get rid of him. He showed up every week. He was in there helping you guys and eventually decided to make him a coach. What makes Sam so unique is that Sam is 64 years old. He's about to turn 65 and he's still killing it. He's out there living an amazing life, full of adventure, traveling the world. And he's living the best years of his life right now, he says. And he's about to hike 250 some miles uh, for his 65th birthday, uh, a hike he's been wanting to do for years. He's hiked up to, uh, some mountain to view the top of Mount Everest, I believe. He's got all kinds of stories. And right now he's in Zion National Park. He's been hiking through Zion National Park and exploring, and he's got a video from there. Now we're not gonna be doing this week a video on dating. We'll get back to that next week. We're gonna be doing a video on adventure, on curiosity, on pushing yourself. Aspects that will develop parts of your personality to make you more charismatic, more interesting, more powerful as a man. And these aspects will then go back into the other parts of who you're being and women will notice it, trust me. They feel that sense of purpose and passion and power on you. And so will other people in your lives. So really take this seriously because it develops every other part of your life. Next week, we'll be getting back to some dating stuff and we'll be oscillating a little bit here and there. We'll be doing some dating. We'll be doing some other challenges that develop parts of your character in the future, develop parts of who you are. We're going to be doing both of them. We're going to be changing from week to week. If you're doing two stops a day, continue to do that. Don't stop. Remember we said do it for three months straight. Don't take a week off. Keep doing it because that consistency is going to be so powerful. And we promise we'll get back to developing more of that. So you have more aspects to go with that as will this challenge that Sam's giving you. As he gives you this challenge, trust me, as you become more curious, more um, spontaneous, that will show in what you're doing. And then we'll get into specifics on how to work on those communication skills and how to develop more aspects of your personality moving forward, okay? So with that said, and no further ado, welcome Sam Pond to the YouTube Fearless channel. And I'll see you in the next video, take care. Hey guys, check out where I am. It's Zion National Park. Not the main part of the park, but the northwest corner called Kolob's Canyon. And uh, I'm here on an adventure and another Fearless Friday challenge. And that's the topic of my Fearless Friday challenges, is adventures and getting out of your house and feeling the world again. It seemed to be a really good topic to talk about these days since we've all been stuck inside a little bit and stuck inside of our heads and stuck inside of our belief systems and stuck inside of what keeps us comfortable. And now that the world's opening up again, not that it has been closed, I hope you take advantage of this and go out and, and feel the world. A lot of you may know something about me, about how I was grown up and my broken heartedness with women and my, it's just, constantly missing the boat to a lot of nice guy tendencies and a lot of um, codependent tendencies and uh, but I've always had a uh, an adventurous spark in me I've always loved the wilderness I love backpacking and climbing and mountaineering and getting on airplanes and going to distant places this always seemed really this is what gave me energy and this is what gave me my uh, a sense of knowing who who I am was stepping into adventure is stepping into uncertainty and discomfort and in a way i think that that helped my broken heart because it felt like something i was in control of this kind of pain was something i could handle as opposed to, as opposed to the vulnerability pain of the heart which i couldn't handle and i had a just had a way of being in the world which was not very connected and not particularly deep so we're going to talk about how to get a sense of adventure back in your life so two words I brought up on adventure is uncertainty and discomfort. If you're heading out into anything that feels kind of dangerous and exciting, there's going to be discomfort and there's going to be uncertainty. And to be able to embrace those, not just embrace them, but to welcome them and feel how exciting life can be when you step out of what is comfortable. I was just thinking the other day that our governments had said, you know, don't go anywhere. We're going to shut you down. And our businesses have everybody wearing masks all the time. If it's in government and business, they're trying to tell us how to be safe in the world. And it triggers this really deep comfort thing in us 
that says, oh, to be safe, I need to stay where I am. And to be safe is your ego talking, which means your ego is big business, big government. They have the same role. Just keep you right where you are. So if you have a longing, a clamoring to get out and be excited about the world, you know, I think about the times that I've been to Bangkok and the assault on the senses, being in a tuk-tuk, flying through traffic with the, all this air pollution in my nostrils. And uh, it was, I look back on that as was one of the great uh, trips of my life. I've been to uh, up above the base camp of of Everest and God, that had so much pain. There was so much high, this high altitude illness that I picked up it was really bad. But I got to 18,000 feet and now I'm alive to tell you about it. So let's talk about that sense of aliveness that uh, travel gives you. By the way, we're going to talk about travel. There's a lot of types of adventure. There's adventure with women and there's adventure with, um, with your job. But I'm talking about getting out of the house and going someplace like Zion National Park. How do we get that? How do we get there? How do we get there from our sense of comfort? It's a lot like what we teach at Fearless when it comes to women, which is if you want to go talk to the most beautiful woman in the world, you can and you have the power to do it. But if you do it, you just might get swept up with emotions and stuckness and an overwhelm for your, for your nervous system that you just can't handle. And it actually pulls you backwards. So, small steps. 1% steps consistently gives you growth. And you can do that towards your sense of adventure too. That's the first challenge. The first challenge is to walk out of your house and turn right instead of turning left. You know, that sounds a little stupid. But how many times have you turned left and seen the same things, the same people, smell the same smells, taste of the same food, turn right. For the next week, I want you to turn the other way out of your house. I want you to get lost in your own neighborhood, town, or city. Every day, half hour a day, go out and get lost. I did that for a while in my neighborhood. I've discovered so many things I never saw before. I met people I'd never met before. I found a secret staircase between two houses that uh, led into this part of the woods I never knew existed. Now it's a regular part of my day. I get a, I get a thrill out of rediscovering this little secret um, staircase as it goes up between the houses. It's pretty cool. Because as you start to do this, you're going to find that it's a little discomforting. It's a little uh, uncertain. And if you can start teaching your body to appreciate and embrace that and embrace that tension, you're going to find yourself opening up more and more and more. Now, here's the other one. And this is a big one. Mark a date on your calendar. It could be for next week. It could be uh, for a month from now or, a, or years from now. But a place you've always wanted to go. But the little voice said, no, now's not the time. Or that's not the right place. Or I probably wouldn't like it. There's some place to mark on your calendar as your trip. Of course, this is setting a goal. Now, setting a goal is mostly you do set goals mostly in order to uh, is to is to give yourself um, energy towards moving towards some place. So, give yourself that energy and start planning, start researching, start talking to people, start getting a better feel for where what this adventure may entail. I mean, Jesus Christ, the the internet is filled with fucking everything kind of kind of kills a sense of adventure sometimes when you know exactly what to expect wherever you go. I've had a something uh, circled on my calendar for years. In my 65th year, which is this year, uh, I had pla always planned on hiking the length of the John Muir Trail. That's a 220-mile, uh, 28 to 31-day backpacking trip up the spine of the, in the, in the middle of the wilderness of the High Sierra and I've always wanted to do it. So now this year turned around uh, and I went, oh, fuck, here it is. And I am planning. I'm talking to people. I'm buying equipment. I'm making all my food drop arrangements. It's really exciting. I can feel all that anticipation of years coming to, to, to fruition right here. So those are your challenges. Walk left or right out of your house and get lost in your neighborhood, town or city every day for the next week. And the big one is plan a trip 
circle something on your calendar that's a place that you've always wanted to go. It is just it's, it's, it would seem insane and start planning as if it was real. Remember, destinations are only there to give us energy moving forward. You may find an entirely different place that turns you on, but stick with this one for now. All right, have fun. Please comment below if you're taking on this challenge and the little things you've discovered in your life and the energies in your life and the people and where that place is. What is the place that you dream of going and you've started to make uh, steps towards going to? All right, I'm going to sign off here from Kolob's Canyon in Northwestern Zion National Park. It's pretty incredible. Happy to be here. All right, take care, guys. Bye.